Hello guys, today I will show you how to um, make a text box that only accept floating numbers. So, um, okay, first of all, add a text box to your form. So, um, text box, where is it? Um, right here. So, add it to the form. Then, just add a key press event. Key press right there, and double click it. Okay. So now we're going to declare um, a char variable. So char ch will be equal to e dot key char. Okay. First, we're going to check if the char is a digit, so a number. So if char is not um, char dot is digit ch okay so this, this piece of code just check if the char is not a digit and if the char is not a digit we're going to um, suppress it so e and let will be equal to true so what does it does it do um, when we just set e that handle to true it doesn't perform perform the, um, the event so um, the char is not wrote in a text box. Okay, so after that, we're gonna check if it's backspace to let the user erase um, the text in the text box. So um, the Haskell code for backspace is hate right here, backspace. So and if char ch is not equal to hate, which is the backspace. And then we're gonna check if it's um, a dot for a floating number. So, and ch is not equal to, and the dot is um, 46 right here, 46. And if ch is not equal to 46, okay. So this piece of code will works, but there will be a problem. Let's see. I can't enter letters, but I can enter numbers dot but I can't I, I can't write many dots so let's fix this problem okay close that before or condition here we're gonna check if ch is equal to 46 if it's dot and 10 we're gonna check if text box one dot text dot index of um, the dot right here is not equal to minus one. So what does it mean? Um, index of check if the text in the text box has the char um, in the argument. So it will return um, minus one if it's not it's if it's not found. So if it's not equal to minus one, it means that there's already re already one dot in the text box. So um, if there's already one dot in the text box, we're going to do like we did below. So e dot and let will be equal to true. Then we're going to return. Why? Because else it's gonna check the other condition here, and since we have um a dot, it's going to be head headed to the text box. So we don't want this to happen. So let's try this. Okay now the others doesn't work. The number right now okay 45 dot uh, 34 another dot and it doesn't work so um, I will show you um, with the visual keyboard so okay, let's erase this and 10 23 dot um, 67. Another dot. It doesn't work, as you can see. The others also doesn't work. But the number works, and the dot doesn't work here. But if we erase that, another number, ten, another dot, it works. So that's all for today. Um, subscribe to my channel for my upcoming videos, and please write a comment if this video helped you. Thank you.